What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a Pew tier match against Sep from my Discord server. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below, as well as all my Pokemon sets are down there too. If you guys get curious, but you guys should know my team by now. I've used it a couple times. Also, I know I've been playing the hell out of PU. <laughs> and uh, like I said in my last video, I am team building for other tiers, so you guys will be seeing that soon. But uh, I have really enjoyed the hell out of PU. So anyway, looking at my opponent's team, Sep is bringing the Shift Tree, Bouffalant, Silvali, Magmortar, Ditto, and the Verlissify. So this battle was fun, guys. A, a little bit of hacks that mattered, but all in good fun. So I hope you guys will enjoy. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Levani as my opponent is going to lead off with a Shift Tree. And uh, for whatever reason, my opponent loves to nickname his Mons after himself, I don't know, I think it's kind of silly, but... Anyway, my opponent's going to make a great play here, going for the Fake Out, as that's going to cause me to flinch. And uh, the obvious Sticky Web is obvious, so I'm going to attempt it here on turn 2. I know most Shift Tree do pack the Defog, but I kind of wanted to just go for it. And uh, my opponent actually whips out the damn Explosion here on turn 2. And uh, we're going to have a damn double down here early in the game. Holy shit. I guess you could say this battle started off with a bang. So I'm just going to go out into my lantern here because I should be able to outspeed the majority of his team now uh, with the sticky webs up. And uh, thankfully I don't have to worry about the shit trees defog uh, anymore. So he doesn't have a defogger or a rapid spinner on his team. Um, so here he's going to bring out his Verlissify looking motherfucker. And here, guys, I am kicking myself for this play. So I've actually battled set before and he brought the same Mon. And it was Focus Ash before, I should have seen that coming. My gut was telling me to Volt Switch that turn, but for whatever reason, I just decided to Hydro Pump, and he's going to live on his Focus Ash, and he's going to be able to go for the Stone Edge, and crit me, and it's going to kill me. So I don't know if that crit mattered or not, because I am a more offensive Lantern, rather than the bulky one, but if that crit did matter, fuck. <laughs> um, so here, I'm just going to bring out the Hitmonchan, and Mach Punch this thing into the next galaxy. And uh, next, I believe my opponent is going to bring out, yeah, Candy's Oven. <laughs> Man, these nicknames are killer. But uh, anyway, Magmortar is going to come out here looking like Kylie Jenner <laughs> with those fucking lips. And uh, so here, I kind of figured because the Hitmons have relatively good bulk on the special side, I should be able to at least live one hit. Um, so I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch there. It does a dick load of damage. And uh, he's going to go for the Fire Blast. I live on 40. And uh, I kind of figured because of the sticky webs, I do outspeed, and Magmortar does not get any form of priority, at least not that I know of. Um, so it was pretty safe to just go for another Drain Punch there rather than Mock Punch. And uh, that's going to give me a little bit more HP back. Now my opponent is going to bring out this fucking Ditto. God, this thing was such a pain in the ass, this battle. Holy hell. Now thankfully the sticky webs are still up at this point in the battle. <laughs> Um, spoiler alert, they're not going to be for long, so he actually became my Hitmonchan, which does have Rapid Spin. He's uh, obviously going to predict the switch. That was a really ballsy play. I could have easily just gone for the Drain Punch there and just fucking annihilated this thing, but he actually goes for the Rapid Spin on the swap. And uh, here, I'm just going to bring out my Grand Bull, which is obviously a pretty solid counter to this thing, um, being a Fairy-type and with the Intimidate attack drop. So here, my opponent is going to swap. I kind of figured that. Uh, would happen so I just go for the T wave that is going to paralyze his Savali. So, <laughs> um, the way that he brought his Savali in, I saw that it was steel type. I kind of felt like maybe it was like a special Savali because why would you bring it in on a physical wall if it wasn't? But for whatever reason, I'm gonna bring in Pontiard here, and apparently <laughs> he's physical. So, I don't know what that was. I could have just stayed in with Grand Bull, honestly. And uh, that was a pretty ballsy play bringing in Pontiard here on the Savali. Savali easily could have had Flamethrower. Um, but thankfully he didn't, because Sivali has a monstrous move pool. <laughs> Mo actually, most normal types do. But uh, anyway, my opponent's actually going to swap here. I go for the knockoff, just honestly, just for the hell of it, really. Um, I didn't know if he would swap or not, but he actually did, and it paid off. Because I actually knock off his, his uh, Bouffalant's Choice Band, and that is like a godsend, because Choice Band Bouffalant hits like a fucking truck, holy hell. And I'm um, able to go for the Sucker Punch. And then he's going to Earthquake me. I actually lived the Earthquake. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. But uh, I guess that's that young Eviolite uh, kicking in there. So he's going to swap out into the Savali. I guess he didn't want to lose his uh, Bouffalant just yet. And uh, here, I kind of figured he'd probably just go for attacks. 
Because honestly, why the hell would he parting shot when it's just going to give me a defiant boost? So he actually gets fully paralyzed on the first one, I, which perfectly it works out perfectly for me because I'm able to get more chip damage off. And uh, he's finally going to kill me off here with an Iron Head, I believe. So Pawniard actually did some shit. I'm, I'm pretty proud. Of, I'm pr oh my god, I can't even talk. I'm pretty proud of that little asshole. And uh, here, I'm just going to bring out the Hitmonchan. And uh, because his Silver Volley is paralyzed and because it's so low, it's really not much use to him. So he's just going to leave it in to die and uh, go for the Drain Punch there. I'm going to get some HP back, which is awesome. <laughs> a Hitmonchan at relatively good health is a good Hitmonchan. And uh, my opponent's going to bring out this fucking Ditto again. <laughs> Ugh, I hate this thing so much, guys. You'll see what I mean in a second here. So he's going to turn out... He's going to turn into my Hitmonchan once again. <sighs> Man... <laughs> trigger warning this this part this part of the battle really triggered me so I'm actually gonna swap back out into my grand bull basically a rinse and repeat of earlier in the battle he's gonna ice punch me and guess what guys it happens that young 10% chance to freeze <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna stay frozen here and uh, this freeze definitely has an impact on this battle later as you guys will see and it's really fucking unfortunate so now he's gonna bring out his bouffalant and uh, I actually stayed in there trying to unthaw on the first turn, but obviously I'm Chad. It's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. My luck is never that good. So here I'm gonna swap out into my Pyroar here, because I kind of figured um, if I could get rid of this Buffalon and if his Ditto transformed into my Pyroar, then I should be able to just come in with Hitmonchan and mock punch him. So he's gonna head charge. I actually live that somehow. Holy hell. Um, and I actually decide, you know what, I kind of want to keep my Pyroar in the back. I'm going to swap out into my Grand Bull here, get the Intimidate off on this thing. And uh, just kill it off on this, because if he transforms into my Grand Bull, uh, I can try to weaken it with uh, Hitmonchan. I can just go for Ice Punch and weaken it. Um, and then basically just bring in Pyroar and come in and Choice Specs Hyper Voice it to death. Um, so here he's going to swap out into the Ditto. He is going to transform into my Grand Bull. Which is totally fine, because thankfully for me, <laughs> he won't be able to use the Normalium Z that I have. <laughs> because he's probably Specs, like I said, or not Specs, he's probably uh, Scarf, like most Ditto are. <clears throat> so here, I'm just going to bring out the Himonchan as he, or no, sorry, yeah, he swapped, so yeah, I get a free swap anyway. Um, so here, I'm just going to go for the Ice Punch here, as he is going to go ahead and play rough me. That is totally fine, that's what I wanted, honestly. So I could have a free swap out into my Pyroar. And uh, so, Rar XD, <laughs> I got this uh, nickname from, I think it was one of Hayden's opponents or whatever. Um, I think my old Pyro nickname was Simba, but I love Rar XD way more, so I, I kind of stole that one. But uh, my opponent makes a fantastic play. He's going to bring out the Bufalant to die, basically, on the Hyper Voice. So now, my opponent, he knows that he killed off my Hitmonchan. So now he can come in and uh, get the, <laughs> basically, transform into my Pyroar. And uh, it's basically going to be, it's, it's a really bad situation for me, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so here, because of the lack of sticky webs and because of the choice scarf, he's going to be able to outspeed me. He's going to go for the hyper voice that's going to kill off my Pyroar. And uh, my last mon is the stupid fucking frozen Grumpig, not Grumpig, god I swear. I call freaking Granbull Grumpig so many fucking times. <laughs> so here I'm just gonna go out into my Grand Bull and here I have only one chance to thaw because because he is choice scarfed and not choice specs I'm actually able to live that on 19 but unfortunately for me I am gonna stay frozen I was actually going for the earthquake there which would have won me the game but <sighs> them's the breaks it happens it's hacks it's part of the game we play <sighs> it's just really unfortunate because I definitely would have won that battle had that not happened but like I said, it's whatever. <laughs> I was a little salty, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, yeah, it was a fun battle, and it was very close. It was a 1-0 in my opponent's favor, so, yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't be mad. It, it's Pokemon. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos and stuff, and all the support and stuff. We're almost at 5k. I love you guys so much. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Peace out.